folks, my name is Richie, a.k.a. Bog Otter, and when I was at PAX East last week, I sat down with Hanukkah Studio to talk about their new game, Prodigy. Prodigy is a turn-based tactical RPG that uses real-life miniatures that move around a board. Now, this board was in development for many years, and it hooks up to your PC or gaming console via USB and provides positioning, which is key to making the combat feel tactical. Now, I'm a father of two young boys, so I've spent many hours playing Skylanders with them, and I'll admit that I even like those games. But the fact that this game is geared more towards an adult audience and the figures are absolutely gorgeous has me hooked. What's interesting is back in the day, I used to paint a lot of miniatures, and the sculptures for the miniatures in Prodigy are so detailed, they actually reminded me of a line of miniatures from Rackham that were used for the Confrontation Miniatures game. Well, it turns out there's a reason for the similarities. The sculptor, Jean Bay, is actually the CEO and creative director at Hanukkah Studios, makers of Prodigy. Well, I got to meet with Jean, and he walked me through playing Prodigy, and I got to actually play a match against another live opponent. Now, there's going to be a single-player campaign, and also the ability to duel other players using your your little warband full of miniatures. And this is kind of how it works. You start off by placing your miniatures on the board, and they will be represented in the game. Then, on your turn, you can move one of your miniatures freely around the board, and the positioning is important. Then you can actually attack, defend, or use special abilities by placing down cards that will be recognized by the board. Now, where you place your characters is very important. If you place characters on the front row, they will perform more damage when they attack, but they are also susceptible to more damage in return. You can also put some of your miniatures in front of your other ones in order to protect the ones behind it, but some AoE special attacks can actually damage multiple enemies in a line. The main resource that you use to power your special abilities, such as heals or AoE abilities, is mana. Now, guard Guardians are special miniatures that can actually produce mana pools on the ground during the fight and your characters can actually go to different areas of the board in order to collect mana. Both the miniatures and the cards use NFC, Near Field Communication Technology, to create a link between the physical world and the game. Now, this will also enable you to save certain information so that your characters can actually evolve and change and improve over time. I got to play a multiplayer match on the convention floor and I'm happy to say that I am now undefeated in Prodigy. I should probably mention that I had three miniatures in my party and my opponent only had two, but hey, a win is a win. Prodigy sports amazing combat animations and on-screen visuals to match the aesthetics of the miniatures. I really enjoyed taking Prodigy for a spin, but there was something a little bit disoriented about how the miniatures actually lay out. So the board that you put the figures on is supposed to represent your side of the battlefield, and what you're looking up on the screen is where your opponent's miniatures are placed. If you want to attack an enemy miniature, you have to make sure that your miniature is in the same square as the one that's on the screen. However, since you don't actually see both of your characters represented in the game world in the same square, it creates this disconnect between what's going on on your board and what's going on on the screen. I heard this exact same observation voiced by someone that was standing behind me when they first tried the game. Another thing that takes getting used to is certain cards can be placed on the board to initiate special attacks and they don't actually pass your turn, while others, like the attack and defense cards, are the last cards that need to be played each turn. So if you're trying to do a special ability and you put the attack card down first, well, he's just going to do a basic attack then. So the order that you put the cards down really matters and I could see that taking some time to get used to. One of the things that I thought was really slick is how the board is very reactive. When it's your miniature's turn, the square underneath your miniature will glow blue. Conversely, when your opponent is about to line up an AoE attack, the squares that are going to be affected will light up red on your board. So your opponent's actions will have a real impact on what it looks like on your actual game board. Prodigy also has different factions that different miniatures will be associated with, and also different types of miniatures such as henchmen, allies, legends, and even huge boss miniatures. If you want to find out more information they have a kickstarter page that is already funded with a whole bunch of sweet rewards and prodigy is looking to release on the pc and possibly some other platforms come late 2015 i want to thank jean bay and hanukkah studios for showing me the game at pax east and don't forget to go over to schust.co for all your indie gaming news my name is richard procopio and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com slash i hope everybody has a fantastic day and i'll see you next time take care